Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my lovely Libras who are watching. So if you have Libra as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Libra, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, Libra, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you specifically. And if it does not, Libra, please don't take it personally. But without further ado here, we will go ahead and officially begin and get started. Let's go ahead and see what we have going on for Libra at this time, please. Can we please receive a couple messages for my Libras when it comes to the lo to love and the energy that is making their way towards Libra, please? We'll take what comes out one by one. So far, we have three messages. What else do we need to know here, please, for my Libras when it comes to love? One more message, please. All right, Libra, so we'll go ahead and get started with what we have so far. First, we have, you're the only person I've loved like this. Of course, I'm serious about you. We also have, you're a source of healing for me. I'm ready to commit. I just need to know you're serious. I'm over dating. Show me something different. Please don't get discouraged while trying to get to know me. And last but not least for now, do I have a chance with you or are you prioritizing your options? All right, Libra. So I do feel like this is someone who is either new in your life or someone that you have yet to reach beneath the surface level. But I, I feel like you feel as though you've been able to sense that the feelings are mutual or the attraction, the interest is there here. But I feel like you two may have reached a dull moment or some stagnancy. It's like the butterflies are there, the attraction, the interest is there, but what happens now? Who is going to initiate things here? And perhaps you, Libra, you would feel more comfortable with this person taking the lead and you'll you'll follow their lead, Libra. But I feel like as far as mirroring energy, that is present. Like you perhaps haven't made that first step towards something more and this person hasn't either. Let's go ahead and get started with your energy, Libra. We have, I'm ready to commit. I just need to know you're serious. I feel like you're on board with seeing what this could be, taking this seriously, being long-term with this person. But it's also you acknowledging the love you have to give and not wanting it to go to the wrong person or go to the wrong place here. So emphasis on I just need to know you're serious. I know I'm serious. I know how I'm coming, but I want to make sure that you're coming that same way. And you may feel more reassured by this person taking that first step here. And I, I also feel like it's a moment of everything's good between you two, but not everything will be perfect 100% of the time. Nothing is perfect, Libra. So it's like, are we really going to take that next step forward and become real and authentic with each other? Be become more vulnerable with each other. So I'm ready to commit. I just need to know you're serious. Your energy, Libra. I'm over dating. Show me something different. Also your energy. Once again, any energies could be reversed or this could be a shared energy. But I feel like for you, Libra, you're not looking to have something casual to the point where it doesn't have an end point. And what I mean by an end point is you want intention when it comes to having a romantic partner. So I'm over dating, show me something different. I really wanna lock in and secure this with you. This could refer to this person's energy as well, Libra. Excuse me, maybe they do 
<laughs> excuse me, Libra. Maybe they do have cold feet or they're self-sabotaging. <coughs> I do apologize. They're self-sabotaging in some way. And that leads me to get into this next message. Please don't get discouraged while trying to get to know me. Maybe they do have bigger doubts and anxieties and fears while pursuing this connection with you. But them hoping that you don't get or you don't take it the wrong way, but that's why it's important to be upfront, try to communicate as best as you can. So of course, not an excuse towards this person not stepping up, but maybe they are feeling overwhelmed by what they wanna do next, or they're just still trying to process this. But I feel like you, Libra, you would like that clarity, you would like confirmation. You're the only person I love like this. Of course, I'm serious about you, could be a shared energy. And if this hasn't amounted to love, you can replace this with interest. Basically, you're very serious about this person and you're devoting your time to them when it comes to dating. So you're the only person I've loved like this. Of course, I'm serious about you. And maybe for this person's energy, Libra, you are the first person that they've allowed themselves to get to know on this level, but they plan on building this up to more, but that could come with fear. That could come with anxiety. Do I have a chance with you or are you prioritizing your options? I feel like this is your energy, Libra, in a sense where you would just like to know what is going through this person's mind. What are they thinking? How are they feeling about this connection? And your source of healing for me could be a shared energy, but I'll describe it from this person's side and how they feel about you, Libra. Just your presence being comforting. You are ruled by uh, Venus, Libra. So they feel seen, they feel heard, um, they feel taken care of, just a very nurturing and grounding energy that they feel from you. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and see what, uh, what else we have for Libra, please. What other messages may be relevant for my Libras when it comes to this person and their love connection? One more message, please. All right, Libra, so last but not least, we have my feelings about you are real. We also have, you've been there for me like no one else. I want love, but I'm used to being alone. And I try my best to keep us afloat. I can't always do it alone. So of course, Libra, take this energy how it may resonate. Things may be much deeper and much more extensive for you, but I feel like you're really taking into um, consideration how you're involved in this connection too. And although you do your best to make this person feel the love, you deserve to feel the love as well. So being in limbo or feeling like you're stalling with this person, it, it may be definitely like not the position you want to be in. You want that communication, clarity, because your feelings didn't just go anywhere. So instead of like ignoring how you feel and your feelings and emotions, it's like you're, you may be putting them in the forefront because it's like, I don't want this energy to be like how it is forever or I'm not comfortable with it being long term so let me maybe give this person time of course it does not have to be the case but I'm also giving myself all the time I need and I'm going to not hold myself up on the decision I need to make for myself we have I try my best to keep us afloat I can't always do it alone your energy Libra this message reminded me of just the feeling when you you took care of everyone else and you're exhausted and it's like how do i make myself feel better after putting myself further and further behind in a sense so i try my best to keep us afloat i can't always do it alone perhaps you feel like submerged in this connection because you want a positive outcome my feelings about you are real could be a shared energy but i i feel like your heart was invested or at least interested in this person You've been there for me like no one else. I feel like this is this person's energy. Um, as mentioned, I talked about your energy, how it's comforting, how they feel seen, they feel heard, they feel taken care of. But I also feel like there's this energy of this person feeling like you two are friends, Libra, and escalating this connection to something more. They don't want to lose a friend within you. Maybe that's the case, or that may resonate. And I want love, but I'm used to being, or, but I'm used to being alone. I want love, but I'm used to being alone. Could be a shared energy depending on how you feel, Libra, but 
it's like if you want love with me then learn how to balance I'm not asking for all of your time in a sense where you don't get to focus on yourself but we we can compromise or we can accommodate things that we do things and people that we do truly care about as far as signs Libra we do have Virgo as our first sign so Virgo may be a relevant placement Aquarius Virgo Aquarius one more sign from a Libra's could be dealing with another Libra Gemini so we did have some air sign energy Libra but Libra I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today as always I appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you next time bye